We're working on this thing again today. We're gonna tidy up the front and then move on to the back. So we just put the skid plate on and uh, that's the last thing for this area and now we're going to start moving on to the back. Yep. This thing is so much heavier than the factory one. I'm, this car is going to be so much slower. But it's also going to be way taller. So it's going to be sick. And this, like, this is going to look sick because like when the car is lifted. You're gonna, gonna be able to actually it. see it. Yeah. So that's like four times the weight of the the, the, the one. factory one. Yeah. yeah. Why you put it up? It's hot. <laughs> well, your Jeep's too tall to put a tent over it. Oh, what a thing, though. Boom! That was anticlimactic. Next thing to do is to cut off the factory lower control arm brackets. Uh, this is going to be a lot quicker process than the front. Hopefully anyways, so that's gonna be the next thing. So we probably got a solid hour of just cutting that stuff away and then we're gonna paint it. Then we can start mounting the new control arm mounts. The gas tank is like three mils from the part that I have to cut off. I don't like this. off but that was the easy one now we got to cut the one that's on the gas tank Fun. here's part of Tyler's frame Frame damage. <laughs> So I finished cutting this off. Uh, this side wasn't as bad as I thought. A little sketchy over there, but really not too bad overall. Uh, I went ahead and prepped it a little bit, and now I'm gonna spray paint it, uh, make sure that it doesn't rust, and then we can start throwing on those brackets.
We got this bracket entirely mounted. Uh, we had to drill the six holes and then use the hole saw and get these big ones out of there. Uh, it wasn't too terribly bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Uh, I've got it mounted up there with the jack and uh, you just basically use this as a reference and drill your holes. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Once this is bolted up, we can actually start putting the control arms on. It is now the next morning and I have very little left to do. We got the springs in, the shocks in, all the control arms are in as well. The rear track bar uh, relocation mount is in place. The only thing left to do is the brake lines and the front track bar. Also, I forgot actually. Uh, so there's two things left in the front. There's track bar and then there's also a little relocation kit for the top of the shock. Actually, I forgot a few things. I can install these rear bump stop uh, extensions, and then I also have to do that little exhaust loop thing in the front uh, because I did cut the exhaust. So uh, that's gonna have to be done before we drive this anywhere or do a lineman shop or anything, so. You can see where we cut it off there, and then where it bolts up there, and uh, it kind of just slips on and they give you this little clamp. So. Now I'm gonna move on to the front shock extensions and then that's it for this. And then we can take it to the alignment shop, get all this stuff straightened out and then we'll be able to take it for its first test drive. finally done installing our four inch long arm lift kit from Rough Country. Now the last thing to do is put the tires on and see how high it is and then we can go ahead and take it to the alignment shop. This looks absolutely amazing. It looks so tall. This is such a perfect height for me. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted. I cannot wait until we start doing some axle mods and then some bigger tires. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna do a little review and you know driving test and all that stuff in another video uh, today. I'm pretty much gonna just take it to the lineman shop. It's probably gonna take them a few hours since there's so much to do. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out. Oh, oh, oh.